Safety Toolbox Talk Number 255 Domino Theory of Accidents Occur, Heinrich's Law The domino theory, also known as Heinrich's Law, is a foundational concept in the field of industrial safety, introduced by Herbert William Heinrich. It provides a framework for understanding how accidents occur and offers strategies for preventing them by addressing their root causes. Here's a detailed look at the domino theory, background of the domino theory. Heinrich's work was based on the analysis of thousands of industrial accidents. He concluded that 88% of accidents are caused by unsafe acts of people. 10% by unsafe conditions, and 2% by acts of God, unavoidable accidents. Heinrich developed the domino theory as a way to explain how accidents are the result of a chain of events. The Five Dominoes Heinrich's model is visually represented as a series of five dominoes, each representing a stage in the accident sequence. If one domino falls, it causes the next one to fall, eventually leading to an accident. However, if one domino is removed or corrected, the chain reaction is interrupted, and the accident can be prevented. 1. Ancestry and Social Environment Description This domino represents the background and personal characteristics of the worker including their upbringing, social environment, and attitudes. Heinrich believed that a person's upbringing and environment influence their behaviors and attitudes towards safety. Example, a worker raised in a culture that doesn't prioritize safety may develop a careless attitude toward following safety protocols. 2. Fault of the Person Description, this domino refers to the individual's shortcomings, such as carelessness, recklessness, or lack of knowledge. It is the personal fault that leads the worker to commit unsafe acts. Example, a worker who is overconfident in their abilities might skip safety checks, believing they are unnecessary. 3. Unsafe act and or mechanical or physical hazard. Description, this domino is the direct cause of the accident, either through an unsafe act by the worker or a hazardous condition in the workplace. Unsafe acts might include improper use of equipment or ignoring safety procedures, while unsafe conditions could be defective machinery or slippery floors. Example, a worker removes a safety guard from a machine or the machine itself malfunctions due to poor maintenance. 4. Accident Description This domino represents the occurrence of the accident itself, which results from the unsafe act or condition. It is the event where something goes wrong, leading to damage or injury. Example the worker's hand gets caught in the machine, leading to an injury. 5. Injury Description The final domino represents the injury or damage that occurs as a result of the accident. It is the outcome of the chain of events that started with the first domino. Example The worker suffers a severe hand injury, resulting in lost work time and medical treatment. Key Principles of the Domino Theory 1. Accident Sequence Accidents are not random events, but are the result of a specific sequence of events or conditions. 2. Preventive Measures By removing or controlling the factors leading to unsafe acts or conditions, particularly focusing on the unsafe act domino, the chain reaction can be interrupted, preventing accidents. 3. Focus on human behavior. Heinrich's theory emphasizes the role of human behavior in causing accidents, 
suggesting that changing unsafe behaviors can significantly reduce the likelihood of accidents. Evolution Simplistic view Some critics argue that the domino theory oversimplifies the causes of accidents by focusing too heavily on individual behaviors, and not enough on systemic issues or organizational culture. Modern Adaptations The theory has evolved over time, with modern safety theories incorporating more complex models, such as the Swiss cheese model which accounts for multiple layers of defense and systemic factors. Application in Safety Management Despite criticisms, the domino theory has had a lasting impact on safety management practices. It underscores the importance of identifying and mitigating unsafe acts and conditions as a proactive approach to accident prevention. Safety Training Programs Hazard identification processes and behavior-based safety initiatives often draw on the principles of the domino theory to reduce workplace accidents. Practical example, consider a manufacturing plant where workers operate heavy machinery. 1. Ancestry and social environment. Workers may come from a background where safety is not emphasized. 2. Fault of the person, a worker might believe they can bypass safety procedures without consequence. 3. Unsafe act or condition, the worker disables a machine safety guard to speed up their work. 4. Accident, the worker's hand is caught in the machine. 5. Injury, the worker suffers a severe injury, resulting in time off work. Thank you.